up today on NN Startup. I'm delighted to be able to be uh, well to be joined by James Elliott from the uh, the Business and IP Centre. James, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you, and thank you very much for having us today, Simon. Yeah, no problem at all. And uh, the Business and IP Centre. Do you want to give us a bit of a a background to to what you do and and where you're based? Yeah, no, that'd be great. Thank you. So, um, my name's James Elliott, um, and I'm from the Business and Intellectual Property Centre, Northamptonshire, or the BIPC for short. Um, so, we provide a completely free uh, business support service to help those out there who are either looking to start uh, a business, maybe for the first time, or for those that are already running an, an established business. So, the BIPC we operate through the Northamptonshire Library Service which is great because it provides us with a physical space across the county to deliver our services from. So we have ded- dedicated BIPC areas um, in the Northampton Central, the Bricksworth, the Toaster and the Wellingborough Libraries. And we also um, are able to add the Ketron Library to that list as part of their renovation project, which is taking place. Um, this dedicated space provides us with a location to offer our clients one-to-one business advice sessions. And we also run drop-in sessions as well, where you can you can come and visit us without the need of an appointment each week um, in the libraries too. So as well as the one-to-one support in the libraries, um, we the, the libraries also provide us with a venue um, in order to deliver our group sessions, our, our workshops. Given that it's, it's 2023, I think everybody just ex- expects us to be online now as well. So we also offer lots and lots of different webinars um, and, of course, the one-to-one sessions um, via virtual methods. So the other great thing about being part of the library, I guess, is the, the amount of information that we have access to. Um, and we'll perhaps discuss this a bit um, more later on, Simon, as well, as I know that you use uh, some of the databases on a regular basis too. But we have access to over £5 million pounds worth of market research um, databases, tools and information to help our clients undertake market research, whether that's for growth or startup, but also to help them explore uh, the new markets um, and potentially source new customers. I guess the last thing that I need to mention to you um, and introduce um, is the fact that the BIPC would, would be nothing if it wasn't for the two letters in the middle, intellectual property, IP. Um, so this is something that, that we um, encourage all businesses to think about. We normally work on the basis that it's never too early to start thinking about IP. And so we're here to, to help you and to have conversations in terms of protecting your business and um, looking at things like copyright, trademarks, registered designs and patents. Um, so in a nutshell, I think that that covers us and um, really what, what we're about and what we're looking to do. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, it's great to have your service in the county across the whole of Northamptonshire. And you mentioned the various venues. I, I can't quite remember them all. I remember Northampton, Wellingborough, Bricksworth, and you mentioned about the soon to be Kettering one as well. But there's another one as well. That's it's right. The, the other one is Toaster, um, Toaster, where I'm actually talking to you from today. Yeah. So I'm um, part of the, the drop in session today. We're at, we're at Toaster Library. Yeah, fantastic. Now, I've been in to see um, some members of the team at the Wellingborough uh, drop-in centre, and, and it's it's a fantastic little setup you've got there for business owners to come in and gain that advice and gain that knowledge and support as well. And uh, what would you say to people that are maybe starting the journey in business that maybe need that extra bit of um, support? I think starting a, a new business is a daunting um, task. I mean, oh, where, where do you even begin? Um, it's, it's one of those things that lots of people have the aspiration to, to, to do, but maybe are, are scared to, to take that leap, uh, maybe if they're leaving secure employment. Um, and so the, the way that our service works is that, that we don't necessarily have a one-size-fits-all approach. We're very much here for you, for your business, and we work on that individual basis. Um, being part of the library service is great. Um, I'm lucky I get to, to visit all of the libraries that I've mentioned. And unfriendly library staff, just they don't exist. You can come in. There's no judgment. um, There's never any question or query as to why don't you know that. It's it's a lovely space to come in and and be able to take that first step to to remove the the fear element, maybe the the daunting um, experience that that may be ahead. Um, Team's very, very experienced. The BIPC, we've actually been running um, in Northamptonshire since 2012, or, or at least the the library services have been offering business support since 2012. So 
we were very much ahead of the game then. I'll say this, I can't take any of the, the credit. I, I wasn't here, um, but some of my colleagues were um, for, from day one. And so they, they've done this. Um, we've all done this day after day. We know some of the key pitfalls that, that new startup business owners tend to head towards. So we can help you know, uh, navigate and avoid those. And, and some of the resources that we have are fantastic as well, just to, to give that um, that first step approach. Yeah, great. And, I, and my own experience is when I came into Wellenborough, it, it was lovely to be able to sit down and have a face-to-face conversation in a, a quite secure, confidential space as well, so that I could actually talk. Because when you go into the library, you, you're kind of thinking, I need to be quiet. There's people reading. I need to, you know, not make any noise or anything. But you need to have that conversation. And what I found by going into the, the library and having that face-to-face uh, conversation with a member of the team. It was just lovely just to sit down and, um, you know, go through ideas and, and things like that as well. So I would say to anybody that's started a business that wants to understand what, what the BIPC can do, go and explore it because I think it's, it's a valuable service, isn't it? And I, and I think that's, um, that is the way to, to do it. Just, just come and have a conversation. We're a friendly bunch um, and we're here to help the, the pods like I'm in today. Um, nobody outside of this room can hear what I'm saying nice confidential private um but i do think it's funny that i i still speak to people and say oh we're part of the library service and the first thing they do is as if that's the um the the way that libraries are and and i understand that perhaps at one point in time that was the case but they're certainly not like that anymore um much more lively there's always different events going on very very welcoming um and so yeah, please do come in, have a conversation with us, and we'll see what we can do to help. Yeah, brilliant. And you mentioned about the databases. So we work, you know, and look at some of the data that you provide us as an organisation to actually understand what's going on within the business landscape locally across Northamptonshire. And uh, it's very, val- well, we find it really valuable. So do you want to touch and, and, and talk through some of the databases that you've actually got at uh, access that people can uh, come and talk to you about information? Yes, yeah, certainly. So um, the database that, that you you have used in the past is called Fame, um, and this is a a database where you can find company information essentially. So you can search by sector, by turnover of other businesses, um, the location um, of that business. So if you're looking to to find maybe new suppliers or new customers, and you have your ideal target customer already um, outlined and you know exactly who it is you're looking to approach. We have this database that can narrow down, uh, takes data from a company's house, so it looks at the limited companies within your search criteria and provides you with the contact details of them as well. Um, I believe it's a relatively new feature, but Fame also provides not just sort of name, address, phone numbers, but also gives the LinkedIn profiles for the directors, which we find incredibly useful. one of the days where cold calling, knocking on doors, maybe just sending a, a generic email in the hope that you'll get some response. To have the LinkedIn profiles of the key players within potentially your um, your latest customers is really, really invaluable because it means that you can connect with them um, sort of on a, a softer level. You can have conversations, you can interact with them. Um, you, can, you can look at what they're interacting with to find out what it is you need to um, do to help them. And perhaps it gives you that conversation starter as well. So there's a huge amount of value in in fame and not just in terms of data, but actually how you can then go off and, and use it. I also quite like the fact that, that fame gives you an overview. So if you search and you find your ideal customers there and you think we're not going to approach them, well, fame helps you look at their credit history and their current financial performance. So this is going to um, impact potentially the way that you trade with them. If, if you can look and you see um, that they've got a bad credit history or, or their sales are declining, maybe that's going to influence whether you offer them credit, whether you ask for um, payment pro forma invoice. So there's there's an element of due diligence as well that we can help you with through that. Um, so that's fame. Um, another one that I would mention is Cobra. And I love Cobra. I can't speak highly enough um, about Cobra. So um, there are two main areas to Cobra. So firstly, there are what's called business opportunity profiles. So let's say you're going to start a business as a, a dog walker, for example. You can type in dog walker. It will bring you up a, a fact sheet covering a lot of the main um, considerations that you need. So I don't know, perhaps um, 
the the legal requirements, any licenses that you need. Um, it will give you an idea of potential suppliers and maybe some of the systems and software that you can use. Um, it will help you source um, suppliers if, if you need particular um, specialist goods. But one thing with Cobra is that they pride themselves on not using jargon. So again, it's that accessibility that um, anybody can can kind of understand it. And Co Cobra holds your hand. So if it tells you you need this qualification, it'll give you some links to help you find where you can then go and gain that qualification from. The other side of things um, on Cobra are the business information fact sheets, which again are great. And, and they're kind of the, the how-to guide. So it might be if, if you scratch in your head, should I be a sole trader? Should you be a limited company? Um, of course, come and speak to us about it. But if you just like some background information, Cobra will have fact sheets explaining those, again, in, in um, simple words without the terminology that HMRC's website perhaps will, will include. But it will cover employing staff for the first time, um, business planning, putting together a, a marketing plan, and many, many different topics. But what I like about Cobra as well is that it's very heavily moderated. So libraries are, are trusted sources. Um, we're, we're completely impartial. Um, all of our databases are um, given or, or from the um, suggested from the British Library. So we know that the information on there is good. Um, Cobra, very heavily moderated, and they provide you with a date to show um, when the fact sheet was last updated. So I'm sure everybody's been on a on a website getting some information how do i employ people what's national insurance got to do with anything and you're reading through you think you've sorted it out and you get to the bottom and you realize that you're on a canadian website from 2004 and actually none of it's relevant whereas cobra we know is that reliable source it's up to date it's uk based and, and it looks at, at our type of uh, legislation that's fantastic to hear that, James. And so anybody that's got a business idea that maybe feel that they're going to get maybe redundant or something because of what's going on in the world or they just want to change in their lifestyle and they want to start a business, they can come into you guys, have some free time, free, you know, free coffee as well. Uh, there certainly is. There certainly is. <laughs> great. I mean, obviously that, that helps as well, but you can sit down with an advisor and actually talk through their ideas and then you can signpost them on to further support that they're going to need around, you know, what's out there for, for what they're looking to achieve. Yes, completely, completely. So um, in, in terms of Cobra and the information fact sheets, my background, um, I had a pet shop that was my business, um, ran that for, for many years. And I came from an employed background. I felt that I knew and understood how to run a pet shop. But actually, there was all this business stuff in the background that I'd never experienced before because I'd, I'd never needed to. So we can have those conversations with you, Cobra. The fact sheets will fill in those gaps as well to look at the, the practical elements of running a business for yourself um, for the first time, maybe, and, and some of the areas that perhaps you haven't considered from having that that um, employed background and maybe the, the shop floor experience of it. Yeah, brilliant. Interesting you ran a pet shop and now we're talking about Cobras, but uh, I've got this bit out, don't worry. <laughs> No, okay. um, I guess another another database that I would mention because people generally love um, grants and free money is we, we have a database called Grant Finder. Um, and this does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it can help you find grants. So it's, it's a huge nationwide database. When the BIPC have run their grants in the past, they've, they've come up. So it's, it's quite nice seeing our own work on there too. Um, but it just means that businesses can can find that first step up maybe if they need a little bit of finance to to get them going or whether an established business has, has got some uh, plans for growth then this database can can maybe help you look for those um, then likewise the I, I believe it's, it's, it's maybe a bit like uh, writing a, a CV or being good at interviews there is a knack and there is a skill to applying for grants so again you can come in and you can speak to our team and we can help you put a business plan together. Uh, we can help you look and tweak um, maybe certain things that grant funders will be looking for. We run a, a webinar on writing a business plan um, as well as applying for uh, grants and funding as well. So it's about that personal service. It's about um, understanding the, the, the needs that the clients have, making sure that we can tailor to, to help them just maybe tweak the, the small po points that they've, um, that they've never had to come across before. Yeah, that's great to hear because uh, obviously business can be quite a lonely place as well, as we all know. So to have the support of an advisor with yourselves and uh, you'd be able to have a face to talk to as well, which is key as well. 
but you're also able to help move them on and and talk about the grants you mentioned their grant finder does that for cics and social enterprises as well or is it just purely limited companies or does, does it really matter what the status of the the business is no so um any business can can use it regardless of of their age their sector um their their legal status we do find that generally um social enterprises for example or, or charity funding um there, there is a heavier weight i would say towards the amount of opportunities on grant finder um for there but as i say our grants appeared on there too i guess the the message is that if there was lots and lots of free money kicking around everybody would know about it anyway so grant finder helps you find the more perhaps the niche areas the more specific um but again because it can be scarce it's important to make sure that you you do a good job when you are applying for it um but yeah all all businesses all sizes um would be welcome to use the database to to see what there is available specifically for them brilliant and then um some of the data that we receive from yourselves to actually look at what goes on in the community is it's been very very essential for our growth as well so you know, that's why I enjoy working with you guys, because I know the value of the service you actually add into what we want to do and where we're heading. So if you are a small business out there and you're thinking about growing and you want to know more about what to do or you think about taking a startup uh, a startup journey, which is obviously what we're here today to talk about, starting businesses and things, then do speak to James and the team at the BIPC, because uh, as I said, the the service we found has been has been fantastic and um, you know can't fault it in any form. So yeah, do do take that step into your library. It's not just about books and 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 what's going on in the community. There's some really valuable resources, and you have to be a member of the library, though, don't you? To be able to work with yourselves. Yes. Um. Well, not necessarily to to um have the one to ones and the and the webinars. Then obviously we we would prefer you to sign up for the for the library. Um, it's free to do. The only thing is, in order to use our database, some of them you can use from home. Some of them you need to come in and, and use um, in the libraries. And to log on to those, you do need to be a library member for that. Um, it's not a difficult process. And I've been working with the, the BIPC Northamptonshire for maybe two years now. And I always joke that I've got no idea how I got the job because I turned up for the interview and I wasn't a member of the library. Surely that should have been the first thing on the application form that, that we've been looked at. Um, so when I do the demonstrations and when I'm showing clients how to use it, it's purely on my library card, just the same as what, what they'll be using. Um, you can sign up for a virtual library membership through our website, which is uh, just bipcnorthamptonshire.co.uk, or you can come into the library and um, register there. It's a, it's a very quick and simple um, task to, to sign up to become a library member. And once you've done that, of course, you can use all of the other valuable resources that the libraries have to offer. So it may be that if if you're into um, audio books, um, we have a free audio book service, um, which you can use as part of the, the um, Northamptonshire Library service. Likewise, we have a, another database called Press Reader, where you can read uh, magazine subscriptions and, and the current day's newspapers as well, all for free. So um, there's there's... There's a huge amount to that library membership, which, yeah, I, of course, I'd encourage anybody to, to come and find out more, get yourself signed up, and, and we can um, support you from there. Brilliant. You mentioned about the website, bipcnorthamptonshire.co.uk. Let's just make sure we get that in there again. But <laughs> uh, it's full of some really useful information. You mentioned about the databases there as well, but you've also got events that you organise as well. Uh, that's correct. So um huge amount of workshops and webinars that are kind of for educational purposes as well as um, the networking. So we ran a, a grant scheme last year and we found that through the events um, where people were sat next to each other having a conversation in the break, actually one business was finding business for, from another, that there were um, instant sort of relationships and business owners were helping each other. It's all very well listening to, to me speak actually business owners learn a lot from each other too and then and the chances are if one business has had one problem a similar business will have the same problem so james yes yeah, thank you for joining us today uh really do appreciate your time and uh as i say if you're looking to start a business do speak to the bipc you ran your startup day this year in february wasn't it at the uh, northampton library we did we did um in, in the in the northampton central library and, and again we we were lucky enough to to have you you speaking for us so thank you very much for that um yeah, it was a fantastic day um new and established businesses were able were able to attend we had lots of other partners um there as well 
So um, we hope to continue those types of events 